Dave, what's going on? Long time no see. Elite legend, it is time for me to share some fiscal news with you. As we approach the second quarter of 2023, it is important to cancel all unnecessary action figure pre-order. GameStop, Amazon, Big Bad Toy Store, but you don't have to worry about those. Those bros don't ship to you. Also, make sure you cancel any order from Hasbro Pulse, where fans come last. But Dave, what about overseas? What do you mean, Lee Legend? Oh yeah, there's this place called CMD Store, and they've been really generous to the Elite Legend of late. Elite Legend, please stop purchasing action figures! Oh my god! Well, welcome back to Believers Elite Legend, back at you guys with another... Marvel Legends action figure review. We got an entire wave of Marvel Legends X-Men. And you know it's the second quarter. Hasbro is getting ready to start shipping out their orders a little bit early. Many of you are anticipating getting this in July, probably September. Unless you're Mr. Who, you probably have it sitting in your basement. He snoozed. He lost. Is that even a word? Listen, baby. Lost. That is the... Way to say it in the plural form. What does he? That doesn't even make sense. That's funky. That's the American dream. All right. Well, he snoozed and he lose or he lose it. The elite legend is going to go ahead and show off the bath for the brand new Marvel Legends wave in just a moment. Hi, elite legend. I've already opened the seal for you. Thank you, March, to get back down there! That's what they're screaming as they drill me, but I'm hard to kill! <laughs> Never mind what the box says. It says there's eight pieces, but there are actually seven in here because you only need seven figures to build this bath. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the figures out that the Elite Legend gives no craps about. The first one being, I don't know who the hell this guy is. He looks like he might be an English teacher. Lurking in the hood, trying to indoctrinate people to his way of life, Mr. Kid Omega. Look at that pink gun. Wow. Now we're going to dig into the box once more, and we're going to pull out another figure that the Elite Legend does not care for. She does have legs for days. She does appear to have a female anatomy. Look at those gauntlets. She's a member of Generation X, Monique Saint. Is it Crew? Who is that bitch? Now we're gonna reach back into that box and we pull out Cyclops. And I don't even think he comes with a bath piece. He does not. Does he? No, he just comes with additional hands. So, if you're lucky and you love Marvel Legends and you want to have an updated Cyclops. You want to have him on that new Vulcan body mold? You're paying $24.99 and your only accessory is a pair of additional hands. I know. And another figure that the Elite Legend has no use for. We have Marvel's Chamber. He is flaming. Not as flaming as Kid Omega, but you get the idea. Let's see what parts does he come with. He comes with additional hands and he comes with a left arm. Cool sculpt, though. The next figure is a character that the Elite Legend really didn't need. He looks a lot like a Spider-Man villain associate that I just can't put my... Sometimes when you just got it on the tip, you know that sometimes it's just more than just a tip and it comes to you in a moment and you go and you... And then you... Dusty! Ramona, come on! But here is a character. There you see, there is no profile. If you do not know who he is, the Elite Legend, I am guilty of not knowing who this guy is, but they give you absolutely no profile. Come on. No profile. Additional hands. So he comes with claws. He comes with two fists. You know what that means. Double fisting action. And he comes with that additional head and that little creepy white guy. But double fisting action for this guy. None for Hulk. 
Ah, why must you mock me? I'm not going to say this figure was highly anticipated, but it's probably my second most antis- highly anticipated figure. And look at that face. What did they do to her? Emma Frost is gorgeous, just not here. Ugh. I never thought I'd see the day where I would say that Emma Frost is one that you have to take uh, one of those grocery bags. And, uh, Dusty, can you take it from here? Sometimes when you want to throw the passion in you with a young lady and you might not have had enough of those drinks to give yourself those whiskey glasses necessary to cross the line and get yourself into the throes of passion, if you will. You're going to need to get yourself one of those good old-fashioned paper bags. You put it over ahead of you. Go to town. All right, Dusty, enough of that. Family channel. This is a new Emma Frost. She comes with the right leg for Chad or Chode. She comes with additional hands. She does feature the double fisting action. And I know, Hulk, it's very tough. But we don't need to hear you come out here talking about how you're so alone. And look at that face. Oh, my God. Ew. And finally, for the most anticipated figure of this wave, the Elite Legend had to have him. It is none other than Mr. Crosshair of the Star Jammers. Look at him in all of his glory. He looks a little bit foolish. He looks like he may have been smoking that crack pipe, but he does have that gun. He does have that sword. Double fisting action. The right arm for Chode. And you need this guy to build your own Star Jammers team. We're talking about Hasbro. It may take them five years to build that entire team. And who knows what the price point will be by then. So here we see all the figures from left to right that you need to build your chode. And we're going to be building them in just a moment. Let me know in the comments what is your favorite figure of this wave. Did you pre-order this wave? Do you want it? Do you need it? Do you like it? Let me know in the comments. Drop that bionic elbow. And now for the newest episode of Are These Accessories, Are These Bath Pieces, or Contraband? Let's take these out and find out. Oh, no. So we got another leg here. We got a little baby hand. We got some little hands. I'm going to just toss them inside of these little nifty crates that we got here. Go ahead, we're going to pull out another arm. The Elite Legend is the king of the pull-out game. Do not try this at home. It may need, <laughs> it may lead to unintentional pregnancy. You got the biggest part of the bath. You got that big old, and this egg roll paper. You got this big old family size egg roll. Got another little baggie here. You get it. Whatever his name is, I don't know what his name is. It doesn't really matter what his name is. Mr. Creo or Mr. Cree. You got him right here. Ah! Got one more leg right here. And then, of course, you want to top it off with the head. Listen, baby, sometimes the head just makes the mood just right, baby. And there you see him in all of his glory. And now that you got them all assembled, take a look at your child. Oh, sorry. This is the abomination. So Lee Ledge is going to go ahead and build this live on camera. We're going to go ahead and put that left arm in. Pop it right in there. We're going to go ahead and take that right arm. And we're going to pop it right in its socket. Hopefully there's no QC issues here. And there are none. It's just the way that the arm is positioned in the little egg roll wrapper. Plastic free packaging to save the planet one action figure at a time. You take the left leg, you pop it right in there. You don't even need to spit on it. Then you take the right leg, you pop it right on. I feel like I've built this before. And then finally you take the head. There's not a whole lot of clearance there. That little old peg, you got that little hole right there. You... Pop it right on there, and it's good to go. So there we see Chad or Cho. So let me know in the comments, how do you pronounce it? Here's his little buddy. We're going to go ahead and do some comparisons in just a moment. Is Cho worth $200? Let me know in the comments. He has this unique sculpt right here. The head possibly 
a little bit right here, maybe different hands. Otherwise, you got the exact same figure. I'm surprised they didn't try to charge $24.99 for this guy. Many people, myself included, wanted Chode on this particular body. So let's see how that looks. So let me know what you think. Yay or nay. So there you have him alongside of the most recent Marvel Legends Build-A-Figure, Puff Adder. And let me know, what do you think about the bass that we have received in 2023? What are you excited about? And there's going to be some more reveals coming up next week. Gangster Dan already revealed that. So I'm looking forward to what those reveals and pre-orders are going to be. If you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you can be alerted to all of Elite Legends next videos. I drop content regularly so you don't want to miss that. Scan that QR code to follow the Elite Legend on Instagram. Join the Elite Toy Collectors over on Facebook. Check out my G.I. Joe Classified Series playlist if you love them Joes. And if you're all about those heroes, check out my Marvel Legends playlist and Thrift Hall playlist. Remember, your boy found a McFarland Spider-Man at a thrift store, so you don't want to miss that. And until next time, make mine Marvel.